In this video, I'll tell you how to use Git if you are working with two or more collaborator in a single project. So hey guys, what's up Nitish here back with an internet video and in this video, I'm going to teach you a very, very important thing. But before that, if you haven't watched my previous video of Git where I'm teaching the basic command of Git to get up and running. So do watch that video first then come back over here. I highly recommend that. So yeah, let's go ahead. So this is the situation in which two or more collaborators are working on a single project. So let's assume that this is the project and actually i'm the only contributor to this project so basically this trick that i'm going to show you it will work in the same way if you have two or more collaborators so let's assume that i am a different person over here on internet let's call me nitish 2 so yeah it sounds crazy but yeah bear with me nitish 2 is on working on his pc and he found this file and he made some changes to this file he has uh, created some changes to the existing file and folder present over there so Nitish 2 has made this change and he gonna type a simple commit added subheading and commit the changes and I know I know it sounds crazy that I'm a single contributor but I'm teaching for a different contributor thing over here but but let's assume that I have yeah it's showing me two contributor with an invalid email ID let's behave with this thing it will completely make sense later on so I have made this changes Nitish 2 has made all these changes and Nitish 1 which is me I'm not aware of anything I'm just chilling on my PC and type some more command which you can see I'm gonna save this and here I am I will type a new heading let's create this so see Nitish 2 has created a change in index.html file in web but Nitish 1 is not aware of this thing so what he gonna do he doesn't know about what are the changes that he have made he hasn't informed me he is very careless guy <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but yeah let's see what will happen next so it's kind of a dramatic story when you are working with collaborators so I'm gonna do git status to check I have modified this file okay fine so I'm gonna do git add hyphen a git commit hyphen m I'm gonna type added a new para I'm gonna do git push so I'm providing my username and password over here and see it will prompt you see what what it does let's see see what, what, what is saying is saying that uh, failed to push to this reference updates were rejected because the tip you are working because the tip of your current branch is behind its remote counterpart integrate the remote changes blah 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 
long story short i'm gonna show you how to work with this thing it's basically saying that you are working behind a commit uh, which is already made in the remote repository which means this so someone else some other collaborator has made the changes that i am not aware of so what it wants me to do uh, to do git pull first so it wants me to pull the code basically so i'm gonna do git pull yeah see it is changes these are the changes that other guy made so this head thing which is showing inside the head and this equal 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 thing this is the way of showing git that these are the contradictory part which git found that you have also edited the same line and the other guy Nitish 2 has also edited this line so it's showing this head thing is my change and this bottom thing is the changes done by other contributor so i can look upon this thing and based on your code you can keep whatever you want you can remove the code which you have written and keep the changes that other guy made or what you can do control z you can remove the changes that other guy did and keep the changes that you have made or control z third situation you want to keep all the three changes so so you you will you will be keeping the changes that you made in this line and the changes that the other guy made in this line at the same time so control s so you decided to keep both the changes and what you want to do now so again the same step get a status it will see it will show me that this file is modified then oh my god when i will start learning get how does this spell i always type this incorrectly but yeah bear with me uh, git add hyphen a then git commit hyphen m mm, merge the code so i have merged both of the code and i'm gonna press on enter now the code is merged let's push it git push and changes has been made and you will see my commit message over here if i refresh the page see merge the code so yeah guys this is how you work if you are working with a number of collaborator and these are all the steps that you will follow so guys one more thing that i would like to point out so over here i was working with a single file so all the changes i was able to see right in front of my eyes so if you are in a in a project where so many developers working with tons of files it may become very difficult to find all this file so the way i do that is by pressing ctrl shift f it will search everything in the entire project folder so if you remember when i pulled the code from the git it was showing me the messages with this arrow 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 or greater than sign everywhere so i'm gonna search for this sign and wherever this sign is there i will go it will basically show it will show me on which file he it found this 
and you can go ahead and check those file and decide what are the code that you want to keep and what are the code that you want to remove then do the same list of command that we have learned git status git add git commit then git push to push your code to the git so yeah this was a long tutorial i know but uh, yeah i hope you have gained some knowledge about git and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because i'll be posting more videos on this and yeah till then keep bugging